In this session, we'll be discussing about the details of metabolism. Now, when you talk about metabolism, it is the sum total of all reactions happening in your body. Now, a living body can have something where a bigger molecule is breaking down into smaller molecules or many smaller molecules are getting accumulated and forming a bigger molecule. So there are two terms now, one is anabolism and next is catabolism. Anabolism is synthesis of bigger molecules when small molecules are combining and forming the bigger molecules. Like you must have heard in translation, translation is protein synthesis. In translation, most of the amino acids will be coming, they form, will be forming a chain and they will be synthesizing the protein. So protein is made up of many amino acids, which is an example of anabolism. When you talk about catabolism, kata means cut down. When a bigger molecule is getting cut down into smaller molecules, like you must be knowing about glycolysis. Glyco, it's glucose, lysis is breakdown. The glucose is breaking down into 6 CO2 molecules. Glucose is a 6 carbon sugar. It is make, breaking down into one carbon compound that is CO2 and each step of it is releasing you the energy. So this concept is called keta, it's cut bolism. Bolism is reaction. So it is the reaction where something bigger is breaking down into the small molecules. Now, metabolism only takes place in the living proper, living body, so you call it as a defining property. Till now, whatever properties we have discussed, say growth and reproduction, were non-defining property, I've given you the reason why. But metabolism takes place in all living organisms, it doesn't take place in any of the non-living organisms. So metabolism becomes a defining property of living system. Now, one thing I'll just tell you here, because I'm telling you it is not happening in what you call non-living things. But what you do is, you must have heard about this word called in vitro. Now, there are two things if you should know, that in vitro and in vivo. In vitro means in glass, in glasswares, when you're doing something in glasswares. In vivo is in animals. So when you are performing some experiments in animals, you call it as in vivo. When you're performing some, some experiments in the glassware, so you call it as in vitro. What do you do? In in vitro also, in the glass also, you can see some of the other reactions going on, some of the other living reactions going on, like plant tissue culture, Pl plants are formed, plants are living, they are formed inside the test tubes. You can also look forward for what you call, uh, I mean, photosynthesis reaction, which can also be taken care of uh, what you call in vitro system. Now, that is happening in in vitro system, which is a non-living system. But the reaction which is happening there is a living reaction. Being whatever the system is, if the system is non-living also, the reaction is always living. Because of this, the metabolism is considered as the defining property. So till now, we have talked about three properties of living system. Growth and reproduction are not the defining properties. Metabolism is one among the defining properties of the living system. In next session, we'll be discussing about the concepts of consciousness.